Sometimes you may need to insert the button inside your PowerPoint presentations to add interactive elements that make your presentation more appealing and help you express your ideas in a way your audience can easily understand. Now, if you want your presentation to really stand out, you will need elegant, well-designed elements that truly make a difference. But what happens if you don't have any designing skills? Well, open your browser and search for web button. Press enter and let me show you how we can use any of these amazing designs as a model to create an outstanding button for a PowerPoint presentation by following four simple steps. To show you how, let's select a design we may want to use. Um, maybe this one. And now that we have the design we want to use, the first step will be to take a screenshot of this so we can use it as a model. To do that, let's open the snipping tool we have on our computer and let's select the area around the design that we want to use so we can get a copy that we can paste on our slide. Let me get rid of this by now. So here we have the design we want to use, but this image cannot be used in our presentation as it is low quality and cannot be customized to match our presentation's design. So we need to copy the we need to adjust the colors and we also need to find a way to add this icon to our own button as well as a relevant text we may want to add. Then, to solve these problems, we are gonna move to step number two, where we use the native tools we have inside PowerPoint to create a version of the button that is similar to the one we have selected. So, for our example, we're gonna start by selecting a rounded rectangle and paste it here. We're gonna move our rectangle on top of the design we have selected and modify its shape to match the one of our selected design. You see? Pretty easy, right? Now let's remove the outline from this shape and let's copy the colors we have on the original design. Of course, you can modify the colors if you want, but this is a simple example that I am using to show you how you can create elegant buttons for your presentations without having any designing skills. So to modify the colors and make them match the ones we have on our selected design, let's right click on the shape. Now click on Format Shape this menu on the right will open, click on fill, gradient fill, and make sure you have the correct amount of gradient stops. For our examples, two stops will be sufficient. So we are gonna click on any extra stops we have here, and then click on this button to make them disappear. Also make sure that the gradient direction matches the one you see on the design. That can be modified here. So let's suppose that I select this one, and now to change the colors we are gonna click on this icon here, and use the eyedropper to copy the colors from the original design. See how now we have a small square that shows us the RGB value of the color we are selecting. So in this case we have blue and here we have purple. So click on the desired color and see how the color is added to the shape you have created here. Now let's click on the other stop and do exactly the same. Grab the color. Notice how now you can scale this up or down without losing quality. So we are almost done but we are still missing this circle and the chevron inside of it. And that's exactly what we are gonna do in the next step. So now let's click on insert, then click on icons. And what we have there is a chevron pointing to the right. So let's type here the corresponding word and select the icon that matches our needs. We can also adjust the size to match the size of the original design, or kinda, and let's place it there. Now we just need to add a circle. Let's change the outline, remove the fill, and move it over here. We're gonna also adjust the size. And now we just need to change the color of our chevron. Let's modify the outline and the fill. Pretty similar, right? Now we are just missing the text we may want to add to our button. And here you have two options. You can just click on the shape and enter the text. Or if you want to have the possibility to move the text to whatever position you may need inside the button, I recommend you to add a text box. So let's suppose that I add this text over here and now I will be able to move the text to whatever position I need. Let's change the text color to white. We may probably want to adjust the size of the text and there you go. We can get rid of this now and that's it. Now you have a good looking button for your presentation in an infinite source of inspiration you can refer to at any moment. Just take into account that this method has some important limitations as some designs are too complex to be copied with just PowerPoint. For example, if you want buttons like this one or this one or even this one, you may need something else to achieve professional results. So if you really want to be limitless in terms of the designs you can use to make your presentation stand out, make sure you hit the subscribe button because that is exactly what we're gonna talk about in the next video.